Hi, this video is for anyone who's interested in composing some music for the new. Uh, and so I've uh, I wanted to outline some of the things that a uh, composer can work with. So the four areas to think about when composing for the didgeridoo are pitch of the fundamental, it's what it overblows, the formant overtones, and the vocalizations. So the first one uh, is the most obvious thing that people ask when they want to write for a musical instrument is what is its range. So uh, the range of the fundamental pitches go from a, uh, well it sounds the A uh, one octave below the bass clef as the lowest note and the uh, highest note is um, the B on the second line of the bass clef. Uh, when that is transposed for the instrument, because its fingering system is sort of like a woodwind, and all the woodwind, all the woodwinds that are in odd keys, they get transposed. Uh, it gets transposed up into the treble clef again, so woodwind players can can read it easily. Um, so that the lowest note is. Uh, the C right below the treble clef, or middle C, and the highest note is the D two lines above, or two lines from the top of the treble clef. Uh, so here's what the chromatic scale sounds like. those 
performant overtones, which I was just going oing 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 oing, just not really doing much to control it specifically. But you can even go to another level with it, and you can actually play melodies. Uh, here is a shaker hymn. Uh, it's often known as that. It's also known as simple gifts, um, played with a fundamental pitch and then formant overtones. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 